Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You are now tuned in to Roar TV, and as always, my name is Giovanni San Juan, and we have a lot of things coming up in this program. Uh, first thing first, let's start off with the Robotics Club. Well, the main thing they're going to get is an introduction to the world of engineering, which right now is one of the hottest fields going. Um, it's one of the best opportunities you have coming out of college. The other thing is that they get to do a lot of hands-on. We get to do some competitions with other schools from around the area and from around the state, potentially from around the nation. Well, we meet here in the, uh, in the chemistry room, D40. Uh, we meet on Thursday afternoons and then once we start into our competition season, which will be after the 12th, we'll be meeting on Saturdays for our build days. All right, thank you. That was a good interview. All right, now let's take it over to Matthew for his interview with the Lionettes. So, Amanda, you're one of the Lionettes, right? Yes. All right, so for all the freshmen out there, can you tell us like how to join the Lionettes and what the Lionettes do? You know, stuff like that. Well, first you have to go to Miss Summers, mainly around March, and you get a packet, you fill it out, and then you go to the clinics that we and do. And where is Miss Summers? Up in the studio in the new gym. Okay. Yes, she's mainly hiding out in her office. So. And um, after the clinics, then what? Well, you have to go through like three days of clinics, and you try out Friday, and then you find out <laughs> late that night if you made it or not. Um, oh, so stress is real high. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> um, what do we do? Well, yeah, that was the whole point of this we question. We practice a lot. You mainly work on turns, leaps, stationaries, kicks. So what do the Lionettes have planned this year? Um, well, one of the things that we're going to do next week is a dance for 9-11. Um, we're also doing a little girl field dance later on. We are hosting the homecoming dance. Mm -hmm. And then for contest season, we are going to two contests in February. As far as I know, we may go to state. Oh, that's a list. <clears throat> if not, then we're going to Galveston over spring break, and there's a contest there if enough people go. How much is enough people? Like 26, maybe. 20? 26 ish, maybe. There's 32 girls. We what's, need what's all What's an of them. ish in that number? 20. Like half of a girl? No, no, no. Um, 26 or more. 26 or more? I would think so, yes. And you're hoping to get to state and yes. win yes. and go down in history and all that good stuff? All that good stuff. Oh. Yes. Okay, well, thanks, Amanda. You're welcome. You can go back to class now and take your notes. Thank you. And now to Brittany and Kinsey to show us how to sign up for Mind 101 for the junior prom updates. This is B Dog and K Dizzle here. P. P R P R O O O O M. Sign up for my 101. Text 1810 at message Junior Prom 2. We are for real, yo. I'm with Hank McKernan and Isaiah Starling from the Kick Pick. How does it feel to be on Sports Center? It feels great. It's awesome. What was you thinking when the quarterback threw the ball? I gotta block the pass. You gotta block the pass. What were you thinking when you see him kick the ball and I then ball him to there? I air. thought I had to catch it. You had to catch it. And we made sports in the top ten. Kick pick. Good job, guys. <laughs> And now to Matthew for the new Teacher of the Week. Okay, Miss Hutzel, since you're a new teacher here and I don't think anybody actually really knows you, <laughs> except your students, what do you teach and what do you coach? I teach senior English, English 4, and I coach a soccer and assistant to cross country. So, you pretty much just got a full plate. Pretty much, right? Right. So, what would you say are your hopes for soccer or maybe track or are you hoping to get your English 
four people up there in the higher echelons of intelligence? Um, for my English class, I just wanted them to be creative thinkers and be able to be contributors to society and be prepared with the tools they need when they leave high school for whatever their plan is or path. And then for soccer, obviously our goal is always to go farther in playoffs, so state would be the ultimate goal, but as long as we're improving and competing every game, then I'm excited. And then for cross country, of course, state again. So. You think there's some slow people on your cross country team? No. No? All pretty fast? Everybody works hard. What about your soccer team? Everybody's working hard. No we don't start games until January, so we have some work to do, but I think we're going to get there. No sluggers? No? None at all? How about English? Um, and you can't say me. <laughs> no, we don't have any slackers in there. We have people that um, take a little longer to get things going, but we'll get there. All right. Well, glad for everyone to meet you finally, Miss Hustle, and thank you for your time. Thank you. A couple last minute reminders here. If you'd like to purchase a homecoming ad, please uh, pick up a form in the front office. And also, if you'd like to paint your parking spot, it's going to be $50 with the, uh, to paint it and also include your tag. Um, you must get your design and paint uh, approved by Miss Ashley or Dr. Allen. Paint days are September 12th through the 13th. Both days are good. See Miss Ashley for more information. And as always, thanks for tuning in to Roar TV. And remember to look us up on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, I don't know if we got an Instagram, but we might have an Instagram coming up <laughs> to stay updated for Kaufman Smat. Stay tuned on what we're doing all year long here on Smat Nation. Google us. For real. <laughs>